Hi gang, this is version 2 of my gravity light. If you don't know what a gravity light is, this falling mass powers this light. Enough to read by. It gives me around 12 minutes of reading before I have to take a break and reset it. Nicely enough, there's still enough power stored to see by when I do that. Let's have a closer look. We start with this tall, sturdy pole. The gravity light itself is this unit, which slides onto the pole and sits on a clamp. The light is provided by this lamp with a custom-made LED light bulb in it. I connect to the lamp's plug and I'm ready to go. A small bottle of water on this side acts as a counterweight. The main mass is this bag of water bottles, 14 liters or 3.8 US gallons worth. Lifting it up to the starting position isn't too hard. To get it going, I give the wheel a spin. The first time this is done, the LEDs don't light up right away. There's a capacitor up here that has to build up some energy first. But after less than a minute, the LEDs are bright enough. How's it work? The falling mass pulls on this chain, which turns this sprocket, which turns the bicycle wheel. The bicycle wheel acts as a pulley with a belt around it that turns this smaller pulley up here. Due to their size difference, the smaller pulley turns faster than the bicycle wheel. On the same shaft as the smaller pulley is a generator, in here. which is connected to this simple circuit and from there to the LEDs. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more fun videos like this. That includes one where I show how this gravity light was made, one on how to generate electricity using Pelche modules, and one about how to make high voltage capacitors. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.